Namaskar, Namaste, Sadnam. Welcome this morning to our solar plexus chakra yoga, uh, a hatha yoga class with also some elements of kundalini for the solar plexus. And we'll begin by bringing awareness to the diaphragm just with slow, deep belly breaths. You can start to cultivate an ujjayi pranayama if you feel called with that slight constriction in the back of the throat, creating that ocean wave sound as this will be sort of a empowered hatha, halfway hatha vinyasa practice. So we want to find that connection to that audible breath to guide us through the practice, gathering heat, but also providing balance. And as you tune in, just really feel your belly, feel your core. Let the breath come in through the nadis, through Ida and Pingala, circulating through the crown, down through the neck and spine. Light flowing and spiraling through Shashumna. And starting to swirl in the core at the space where the rib cage opens, where the solar plexus sits. Manipura, this energy of the inner fire of tapas, agni, the jewel of the soul. And as you breathe this fire energy through the belly, really let the breath move down deep into the hips, expanding the lower belly and the belly button. Every inhale, really push the belly out. Every exhale, start to activate the core, growing a bit longer and taller in the spine as you activate Uddiyana Bandha at the end of the exhale, squeezing the belly button in, pushing out all the air and toxins and activating that inner fire. We'll just do a minute of these slow, deep, strong belly breaths through the nose, in through the nose, out through the nose. And as your breath starts to gather some heat, some warmth, some inner fire, just become aware of any tensions in your body. And in your awareness of any tensions in the body, start to let the breath rise into those tensions, that new warmth circulating through the blood. All the channels of Vayu or the wind channels in the body starting to warm up. With your next inhale, bring the arms up above head, Anjali Mudra, gaze towards the thumbs. Deep inhale, big breath out. <sighs> ah, breath out. Feel the belly activate at the end of the breath. Two more inhale. Ah, one more inhale. Activate the voice, the throat chakra. Ah, Vishuddha. Ah. Inhale. Exhale, following the thumbs with the gaze. 
Bring the palms out extended in front of the heart, arms long. Roll the shoulders back and down, press the hands together slightly. Activating some force in the chest, remembering your breath. Inhale into the ends of the fingertips. As you exhale again, pull the belly button in. Hold your breath for three counts. Inhale through the fingertips. Big sigh. Interlace your fingertips. Press the palms forward, opening the shoulders. Inhale into the palms. Exhale, <sighs> belly button active. Inhale, arms up, follow the palms with your gaze. Big sigh out. <sighs> Returning to your ujjayi breath, inhale. As you exhale, palms come down forward again in front of the heart, arms long. Deep inhale into the centers of the hands. Exhale, bringing the palms to face forward into the solar plexus, turning the palms back in. Bring the palms on directly to the belly. Feel your next inhale rising into the hands. And feel that rise and fall of the diaphragm. Feel your breath gathering energy. And we'll connect to the seed sound of Manipura or the sound Ram, R-A-M. And we'll do three minutes of Ram together. Let that vibration run through your solar plexus chakra and focus on your barriers, your limitations becoming dissolved or burned away. See yourself embodying your most confident, most trusting most divinely inspired self, your highest self. What does that mean to you? Let that vision form throughout your practice today. Ram, 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 Ram. Ram, Ram. Really get the sound in the belly, feel the A in the core. Ram, Ram. Get a bit of a roar in the belly. Ram, Ram. Strength and power. Ram. Confidence and divine trust. Ram. 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 Ram, 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 Ram. Ram, 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 Ram. Ram, 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 pumping the belly. Ram, 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 
Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram. Belly button pulls in and up. Ram, Ram with each Ram. The inhale comes in in between. Ram, 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 Ram. 30 more seconds. Ram, 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 Ram. Ram, 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 closing with a deep inhale. Long Ram. At the end of the sound, take a deep inhale, filling 75% of your capacity. And begin breath of fire, exhales through the nose. If you're unfamiliar with Breath of Fire, you can get a feel for it with panting like a dog, sticking the tongue out, <laughs> feeling how the belly activates with that <laughs> pressure of the tongue out, <laughs> and then closing the mouth <laughs> and keeping that belly pumping action, pushing the exhale out, gathering heat in the solar plexus, and the inhale comes in naturally in between the breaths. Deep inhale, big sigh, and we'll do three lion's breath, inhale, tongue out, eyes wide. Inhale, on your exhale, extend the index fingers out and cross the thumbs right over left. So you're bringing your hands into a temple mudra and extending the arms out. We're going to inhale the arms up, exhale, cut the arms down as if you have a sword cutting away all cords of limitation. Inhale up, exhale down. <sighs> Cut away your fears, cut away your doubts. Severing ties to any old connections to the past that may be seeking to hold you back in an old version of yourself. Keep going with that movement, cutting away the cords to the past, destroying all that is no longer serving you, inviting the light into your life. Inhale the arms up, 
Breathe into the hands. Take a couple of breaths here. Deep inhale. Exhale, slowly lower the hands down in front of you and separate them, placing the palms onto the knees. And then switch whichever leg you have in front in your Sukhasana or, or however you're seated, perhaps you're in a half lotus or lotus and place the hands down onto the knees. Inhale, the heart open, exhale, the spine back. So some seated cat cows. Let your core guide this movement. Inhale into a straight spine. Big breath out. Inhale your arms up. Palms come together above head. Inhale. Exhale, bring your right hand behind your lower back and your left hand to your right knee. Gaze beyond the right shoulder, coming into a gentle seated twist. Find a deep inhale and a big sigh, engaging the belly button, inhale your way back to center. Breathing out, inhale, long spine, big breath out, inhale, the arms up above head, exhale your left hand out behind you, behind the sacrum, right hand to the right knee. Inhale, long spine, gazing over the left shoulder, finding length with your inhale, deepening the twist with your exhale, squeezing through the belly. Deep inhale, exhale, tucking the belly button in, inhale, coming back to center. Big sigh, <sighs> finding your center and making your way to your hands and knees. Remembering your Ujjayi Pranayama as we begin with tabletop position, finding your hands placed directly beneath the shoulders, toes tucked, knees beneath the hips, Inhale, opening the heart, cow pose. Exhale, send the back of the spine up behind you, cat pose. Inhale, opening. Exhale, sending the spine up and back. Moving through the spine and the core and start to let your intuition guide you into the parts of your body that are feeling tense. Maybe you want to make some circles with the hips or bend the elbows and move a little bit into the shoulders, trusting your core, trusting your intuition to tell you what you need now to open the body up as we start to move into the more heated part of our practice. Really get the energy moving in your body, gathering that inner fire. Remembering the power of your breath.
coming into stillness in tabletop. Inhale your right arm in front of you and your left leg behind. Extend, activate the core. Tuck the belly button in. That left, those left toes pointing to the ground. Inhale, extending as long as you can. Exhale, bring your right elbow to meet the left knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthening the body. Exhale, contracting in strong core. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, coming in and hold here three breaths. Inhale, lengthening. Big breath out. Lower that right hand down, left leg back in line with the right knee. Inhale, left arm out, right arm, right leg behind. Exhale, coming in. Inhale, lengthening, extending, strong and long. Exhale, contracting in strong core. Inhale, lengthening the whole body. Exhale, bringing it inward. Inhale, extending, reaching. Exhale, coming in, strengthening the core. Hold, three breaths. Inhale, lengthening here. Exhale, bringing both knees back in line with each other beneath the hips, hands planted beneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale into the full length of your body. <clears throat> Take your time to set up into your downward dog. Maybe you pedal your feet to stretch out the backs of the legs. Really push into the hands, hug the shoulder blades in towards each other. Stretch the backs of the legs, feel your core. And again, let your intuition guide you through burning away the tensions in your body so that you can express your full freedom and strength. Even inhale, exhale, come forward, plank pose. Inhale into your plank pose, body all in one line, hands to the shoulders, head in line with the spine. Even inhale here, exhale, back downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, plank, tuck the elbows in towards your ribs. Come down halfway, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, plank, pose. Exhale, all the way back down. Down onto the belly. Inhale, low cobra, lift your hands off your back. Breathe here, three breaths. Exhale, plant your hands, tuck your toes, push the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up behind you. Exhale, bring that foot in between your hands. Lower that back knee down, finding a low lunge. Inhale, arms up. Big sigh. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the palms together at your heart. Deep inhale. And exhale, bring your left elbow to meet your right knee, coming into a twisted row lunge, gazing over the right shoulder. Two more breaths. Deep inhale, hugging the belly button in with your exhale. Inhale to center. Big breath out. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, plant the hands on either side of that front foot. Extend your back leg, step back, plank pose. Chaturanga down. Inhale, your back bend of choice. Exhale, up and back, downward dog. Inhale, your left leg up. Exhale, bring that left foot in between your hands. Lower your back knee down. Low lunge on the other side. Arms come up. Inhale, exhale, bring the palms to the heart. Another breath. 
a deep inhale. Exhale, bring your right elbow to your left knee. Gaze over the left shoulder, twisting your lunge. Deep inhale, big breath out. Tuck the belly button in, inhale into center. Coming back into your low lunge, arms up. Exhale, plant the hands. Straighten out that back leg. Step back, plank pose. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, your back bend. Exhale, up and back, downward facing dog. Deep inhale here. Exhale, bend your knees in your downward dog. Float the knees above your mat. Five breaths. So you're in a floating tabletop. Feel your strength in your body, feel the heat gathering, engaging that belly button. Deep inhale, exhale, extending the leg, straightening back out, downward facing dog. Inhale here, exhale, walk your feet to your hands, folding over your legs into a forward fold, Uttanasana, perhaps bending the knees and just letting yourself fall into this hold, letting the fire in the body melt the tension away. Extending the arms, straight spine, gaze forward, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Fingertips to the mat, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands beneath the shoulders, step back, plank pose. Deep inhale, exhale, Chaturanga down. Inhale, your back bend. Breathe here, five breaths. back into a child's pose. Tune in to the warmth in your body, the light of your inner child. Feel your strength gathering. And from here, you can come up onto your knees in a thunderbolt or a hero pose. And we're going to do a bit of a toe squat here. So tuck your toes and come up to float above your heels. So your core is engaged, your thighs are engaged, and you're just going to float here and we'll be here for 10 breaths. Roll the shoulders back and down. You can press the palms together in your prayer. Feel all the strength in your body that you can gather.
deep inhale. Exhale, sinking down onto the heels. Straight spine, inhale. Exhale, roll back onto the feet. Coming up into a chair pose. Finding your Utkatasana chair pose. Arms rising, belly button tucked in. Inhaling here, feeling your core power. Exhale, fold into Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, arms in front. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank pose. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga down. Inhale, your back bend. Exhale, up and back, downward facing dog. Five breaths in your downward dog. Up behind you. Exhale, bring that foot in between your hands. Lower your back foot down at a 45 degree angle, finding a warrior one positioning, squaring the hips forward. Arms come up on either side of the ears, finding your warrior one breathing. Extend that front leg straight. Exhale, reaching straight spine, strong core. Exhale, folding inward, folding down towards that front leg, coming into Parshvottanasana, pyramid pose. to the mat, halfway lift in your pyramid. Exhale, folding again over that front leg. Inhale, halfway lift in your pyramid, arms in front. Exhale, folding again over that front leg, bending your front knee, pivot the back foot, step back, plank pose, feet together. Deep inhale, chaturanga down, inhale your back bend. Exhale, up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg up behind you. Exhale, bring that foot in between your hands. Lower your back foot down, 45 degree angle. Warrior one stance. Bending into that front knee. Strong spine, strong core, arms up. Feel your strength, embody the warrior within you. Gather this fire. <sighs> Inhale, lengthen that front leg. Exhale, start to lean forward, reaching forward. Strong, tall, long spine. Belly button tucked in halfway. Deep inhale, exhale, fold pyramid pose. Exhale, chaturanga down. Inhale, your back bend of choice. Exhale, down to the belly. Extend your arms in front. Long body. Just stretch your body as long as you can for five breaths here.
deep inhale. Exhale, plant the hands beneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, push the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Deep inhale. Exhale, bend the knees again, floating the knees above the mat, floating tabletop. Deep inhale here. Exhale, bring your right knee to your right elbow. And switch, left knee to left elbow. Keep moving in this rhythm. You can move slow, or you can bring it almost to a run. and back, downward facing dog. Deep inhale here. Exhale, walk the feet to the hands. Coming back into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, bring the seat down towards your Utkatasana. Inhale, rise. Chair pose. center. Feel your Tadasana. Stand strong in your mountain pose. Bring your fingers interlaced over the solar plexus. Feel the belly pumping and pulsing with heat, with blood flow. Like me today. <laughs> Deep inhale here. Exhale, fold the hands down, lift the leg higher, standing split. Deep inhale. Big sigh. <sighs> inhale. Exhale, bring the feet to meet each other, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. <sighs> Inhale, the left leg up, left toes point towards the mat. 
hips parallel, chest parallel, tuck the belly button in, micro bend in that right knee, rise up, arms forward, warrior three. Divine Mother, Santa Maria, Mother of God, we call you here from the center of our hearts to the center of yours, to the center Deep inhale. of inhale. And exhale, hands down, pull towards that right leg. Left leg rises, standing straight. To the stone, we call you Mother Mary, infinite mother of compassion. Infinite mother of Inhale, exhale, bring the feet together, folding forward. Bring it back into divine. Hallelujah. Breathing in your forward fold, relaxing in your forward fold. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank pose. Deep inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga down to the ground. Inhale, cobra pose. We'll spend five breaths in our back bend this time. breath out. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. Make your way back into a child's pose. This time, toes together, knees wide to the edges of your mat. Arms outstretched, chest to the mat. Wide-legged child's pose. And breathe in your child's pose. Feel your belly pulsing. Feel your hips opening and grounding the energy down to the earth. Take a deep inhale, big sigh. <sighs> inhale, lift the head, press into the arms. Exhale, start to walk yourself back and up. Coming up and then bringing the legs out in front of you. Continuing to move the energy of the core and the willpower. You can bring your hands behind you about three to five inches. Um, find what's comfortable for you, whether you want your fingers pointing behind or in towards your seat is up to you. And then you're going to lift your toes off your mat. This is a supported Navasana or supported boat. Breathing into the fire in the belly, Manipura, the energies of Ram. Inhale, exhale, bring your toes to the mat. Inhale, legs up. Exhale down. Two more. Let the toes rest. Breathe, press into the arms. Inhale the legs out straight. Now exhale, release the heels down to float above the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower down. Inhale up. Three more. Let the feet float. 
deep inhale. Exhale, release the feet down, heels to the ground, toes pointing towards your forehead. Pull the flesh out of your seat out from underneath you and find yourself in Dandasana or staff pose, planting your hands on either side of the hips, maybe on the thighs, wherever it feels right for you. Activating that length in the spine, power in the belly, pressing into the muscles of the legs. Feel the fire and strength circulating through your entire body. relax plant the hands on either side of the hips and slightly behind again plant the feet to the width of your mat and just windshield wiper your legs side to side opening that lower spine moving energy through the hips stretching out the side waists a little bit getting the obliques activated with the abdominals And then coming into stillness again. And coming into the center of your mat, you're going to lower down into a stretch pose. So your chest and arms are lifted. The heels are lifted about five inches, six inches off your mat. And you're reaching towards your heels. We'll be here for as long as you can, up to one minute together. And if you need to take a rest for a couple breaths and come back into it, listen to your body, of course. You can no longer hold this stretch pose. Bring the knees in towards your chest. Hug yourself close, bringing your forehead to your knees. And just roll around a bit in a little ball of love and confidence and trust in yourself. Roll along the spine or roll a bit side to side. And feel that energy of the inner fire continuing to melt away any tension, any doubts, fears, or insecurities, any old energies coming in with you from your previous week so that you can start this week off from a place of divine trust and acceptance of who you truly are. When you're ready to come into stillness, we'll move into legs in the air. You can bring your hands underneath the sacrum if you wish feet pointed or flexed really up to you whether you want it more active for the backs of the legs or more passive still working the core and we'll just breathe here together and we'll be in our legs in the air just for one minute
deep inhale. Big sigh. <sighs> Two more with the legs still in the air. <sighs> inhale, bend the knees so the knees are in line with the hips. Release the hands out from underneath the sacrum. Bring your arms out to a T at shoulder height. Lower your knees down to the right. <laughs> and gaze over the left shoulder, coming into a recline twist, a two knee twist. <clears throat> Pardon me. And breathe here, feeling the heat moving through all of your organs, cleansing the digestive system. Opening the spine, opening the shoulders and heart. Taking a deep inhale, exhale, engaging the belly button to the spine, inhale, knees come up to center, exhale, lower the knees over to your left side, gaze over your right shoulder now. Inhale, exhale, tucking belly button into spine. Inhale, knees up to center. Big breath out, lower your feet down about six inches out from the um, seat, <laughs> from the hips, so that you can set up for a bridge posture so that your hands can just barely brush the heels. You're going to press into your feet, lift the pelvis. You can bring your hands interlaced underneath the hips if you wish. You can, if you have the flexibility today, you can even place the hands right underneath the hips. Whatever calls to you, whatever level of bridge feels right to you today. And just stretch the whole belly, the quads, opening the heart, feeling everything moving in the body that you've opened up for release. Deep inhale, big sigh, <sighs> inhale, slowly lowering the pelvis down, unclasping the hands if you have them joined together, lowering the pelvis down, and then bring the soles of your feet together at the far edge of your mat, extending the knees opening wide into a reclined butterfly or reclined butterkonasana. And as you sink into this reclined butterfly, just ask your body now, is there anything else I need before deep relaxation? Listening to your own intuitive guidance before you extend yourself into a Shavasana. So take about 10 breaths here in your butterfly and then let yourself relax, completely prepare yourself with comforts and whatever you need for a deep relaxation.
And if you haven't already, perhaps taking one long body stretch, reaching the arms out behind the head and pointing the toes. Deep breath into the whole length of your body and then allow yourself to relax into your Shavasana. Sinking down into the earth, letting every part of your body become soft. Balanced. Clear. Letting the fires of the solar plexus warm you from within. Surrounding you in a golden light of protection and healing as you sink into balanced connection with Mother Earth, grounding your fire into the Earth's core and allowing her sacred waters to wash and balance all that you are in divine optimization. And as you sink into your Shavasana, let everything that has come before this moment pass through and dissolve away. And consider one word of embodiment for your weak, strength, love, prosperity, joy, organization, bliss, activity. Consider one word and ring it through your mind's eye as loudly as you can until it dissipates through your whole body with a few more deep conscious breaths as you release and let go of everything sinking into your corpse pose shavasana allowing surrendering Feel now as the pulse of the earth. Feel now as this energy of the heart of the earth and the core of the universe unite in your central inner fire. Uniting your loving self with your divine nature and your divine nature with your creative power. Grounded and stable as you come fully back into your body, taking your time to rise as you feel called, maybe rolling to one side or rolling back and forth on the spine, making your way up into a seat as you are ready.
And to close our practice today, with your next inhale, you can bring your hands interlaced again over the core. Just take five breaths into this solar plexus, into the diaphragm and the abdominals. Thank your body for its strength. Thank your core for the center of light that it is. All those nerves connecting and giving you the power of gut instinct, intuition, confidence, trust, and connection to the highest self. I trust myself. I am powerful. I am confident. I believe in me. I trust myself. I am powerful. I am confident. I believe in me. I trust myself. I am powerful. I am confident. I believe in me. I trust myself. I am powerful. I am confident. I believe in me. I trust myself. I am powerful. I am confident. I believe in me. And we'll close with five Ram. 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 Bringing the hands to the heart now. Namaste. Satnam. Ram, Ram, Ram. Thank you so much for joining me this morning and for practicing together. Bless your coming week with confidence and trust and see you next time.